Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Unity Editor scripting tutorial where we're creating an enemy designer tool. In this tutorial we are going to be creating a button which performs an action. And for our tool that action needs to spawn a new editor window which is going to fill out some generic data for us. So right now we have Mage, Warrior, and Rogue Partitions. And if we look at our mage, for instance, our mage has a damage and a weapon enumeration field. Now, we also need to fill out things like health, uh, energy, crit percent chance, power, and a name. And those data fields are generic to all of our classes. Those are generic to the mage, the warrior, and the rogue. And so we want to create an editor window uh, that sports those uh, data fields for us. So, the button that we create today is going to spawn that editor window. Okay, so I've created a new class here which has an enumeration for settings type. Now the settings type is going to be passed as a parameter whenever we call open window. And what this is going to do is specify whether we choose to create a mage, a warrior, or a rogue. Now we have the public static void open window. That's going to be very similar to the open window function that we have in the enemy designer class. And we went over that in a previous tutorial, so I'm not going to go into these specifics. So that's all we need to perform the action that our button is going to initiate. So let's talk about how we can create our button. So what we want to do is come up to our mage settings and write the following line of code to draw the button on our editor window. Okay, so GUI layout.button is going to return true or false, whether uh, we clicked on the button or not. So if we don't click the button on an update cycle, this will return false. If we do click the button on an update cycle, this will return true. The first parameter will be the string value that we want the text to display on the button. So we want our button to say create. You can make this whatever you want, of course. And then we have an optional second parameter here, which is going to specify the button height. So this is completely optional. You don't need to, to actually add this parameter. Now inside this if statement is going to be the code that uh, initiates whenever we click the button. And what we want to do is say general settings, which is the class we just created, dot open window. And what we're passing, since we're in the draw mage settings, what we're passing here is general settings, and we're passing that settings type for mage. And you can see that our button is a little bit uh, taller than the other uh, fields here, and that's because we specified that GUI layout.height. We set that to 40. Now if I click the create button, we should see an editor window pop up. And here's our general setting window, which is where we're going to uh, pass fields for HP, uh, power, crit chance, and name, things like that. And that's going to conclude this tutorial. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.